Good Monday morning. If you think modern day virtual reality is just for gaming, think again. That's right. New technology is helping those with developmental disabilities do more than ever before, and much of that can be found right in our own backyard. You might remember VR1, the virtual reality arcade that was featured as a Made in Idaho piece a few weeks ago. You might not know that VR1 caters to everyone and anyone and isn't just for hardcore gamers. I'm uh, the proud father of a 10 year old son with autism and uh, we came down to VR1 uh, just simply out of curiosity. Mitch's son Nathan has had problems with socializing and other everyday tasks that most of us take for granted all of his life. Traveling had been an issue as Nathan had never been on an airplane. My wife and I were apprehensive about the isolation and uh, what what could happen if it were to go wrong. But Nathan took a liking to virtual reality at VR1 where he'd travel the world from a bird's eye view on Google Maps or simulate flying on YouTube. After months of simulations, the family finally bought their plane tickets to see Nathan's aunt. His excitement was so incredible. Uh, getting ready, running, walking down the runways, going through security. Sat down, plane got ready to take off. We got in the air, he looked out the window and turned around and said, Daddy, it looks just like VR1. From there, it was just so positive. Nathan is just one of many individuals that's making positive strides in their life, something the owner of VR1 sees often. We do something called exposure therapy, and so that, that carries over to people who have fear of spiders, fear of heights, um, and then specifically all the, the kids with autism. Smythe says Nathan and several other autistic individuals all loved virtual reality from the get-go with nothing but positive experiences. The autistic mind as it is has a fascination with technology, and as we we've seen in the past, there's some of the best creators, designers, game developers um, have, have some sort of autism. For Nathan, it started with travel and movie simulators, which helped him get on an airplane for the first time. But since then, he's kept expanding into other everyday situations like socializing and problem solving. That now has evolved into him playing something like Budget Cuts, which is a game where um, an enemy or a, or a bad guy can come and interact with you, which can be very fearful and he's responding to that and he's you know defending himself and going through this maze and unlocking new doors and and um, I don't think he would have gotten into a game like that right off the bat. This is something that he's kind of gotten more comfortable with. VR has many of the same effects that hours of specialized therapies could provide for autistic individuals, all while making them feel like they're simply playing a game. Sometimes therapy or more commonly everyday situations can cause sensory overload, but despite how advanced virtual reality is, it seems to do the opposite. We see a calming effect when he comes out of out of virtual reality. Even while he still has the headset on, he's kneeled down or even laid down in the booth. And coming out, he's much more relaxed to the tune of him being exhausted or needing a nap. And it doesn't end there. I see unlimited potential inside of their minds. I see us being able to unlock um, a certain person who can achieve things that we never thought could be done. And all of this can happen off of just exposing them to virtual reality. VR1 and the Autism XR Institute are constantly creating tools and ideas to help kids and adults with autism live a more independent life through virtual reality. For more information, I'll be posting a link soon to this story on our website, 6onyourside.com.